what, talking about that? Yeah, as okay. soon as we're done eating, or preparing food. So I'm just going to cook some rice here. Put some alkaline water in. We've got some, some curry from the other night on low here. So it's heating up. I'm going to wash off the rice. And as we're washing off the rice, I just took some. Um, whoops. Ah, whoops. Let's tilt the camera down. I got some adzuki beans, and I put some coconut oil in there, and a little bit of miso. And I'm going to heat up this rice once it's cleaned off. That's pretty much it is now. So we put some alkaline water in the rice, helps it heat faster. And as it heats, we need to top for it, pressure it. A little bit of salt in there. Just a dash. Uh, Seventy-five percent medium low, more towards medium heat, and the top is where? There's the top. Put a pressure on that. The cauliflower, turmeric cauliflower from this weekend's on low. We got some azuki bean. Miso coconut milk mix here. And I'm just going to make sure the coconut milk equals out with the uh, Hatsuki beans. And actually, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil here. that coconut oil and a little bit of coconut oil to the mix adding some oils to our proteins to get them around the body cellular signaling Got some a uh, little bit of candied ginger here. We're gonna take the candied ginger and we're gonna put it in our rice, just a little bit of it, just enough to kind of get one piece of candied ginger about every square two inches, so it diffuses out and into the rice. Kind of gives our rice a Sweet ginger flavor. Sweet and ginger. And so we've got some local miso master organic miso, brown rice miso here. Put that in there. We'll take just a little bit of tamari and I can dash some tamari, I'd say about, um, so about a, this has like 940 milligrams of sodium. So I'm just going to do dash and that's, I mean, that's about it right there. That'll permeate. 
a lot of sodium. You mix it around and the brown kind of the brown clears or colors the water. That will soak into the rice as it cooks. Cauliflower is heating up here. Going to provide some greens, some fiber. We're going to put our adzuki beans back in the fridge. We can find the top. Suki bean lid has found its way somewhere. If it's under this cutting board, nope. Hmm. This is funny, y'all. The Azuki bean lid is at it again. The kitchen gnomes. Must have run off <gasps> with this lid. Okay, I took it out of the fridge. It's funny how life does these things sometimes. We're all human. see where it might be there under the computer okay that back in the fridge so here we are with our coconut oil and suki bean and miso mix and the rice is heating up will be ready shortly. And I wonder if almonds, if some almonds might make this adzuki bean more delicious. It's certainly worth a try. So let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just like spread some almonds around. I'll show you guys what this looks like. It's kind of a method to. So when you have it around like that, you can see how it's proportional, making like a mandala. It makes a proportion of adzuki to a proportion of almond. So you can estimate taste based on position in the mixture. And the question is, do I blend this and make it into a almond adzuki paste, or do I keep it whole? And since it's protein, and proteins break down faster, the more surface area is exposed to enzymes, I'm going to blend it. My rice is doing well. Our cauliflower is hot, and I'm going to turn that.